Okay, what we want to talk about today is what are you going to do to make yourself better? And I mean, when I say better, I'm talking about better in life, not just ball. Because you're already a baller, you're on the team. Are you striving to be on the team? What I'm saying is, are you willing to make the commitment? See, most people, when they watch the game on television, they say, man, that's how I'm going to be one day. But what goes into being like that one day is, and I got people here to, who can attest for it. Rick Stoudemire back here can attest for it. I practiced basketball. My coach was Coach Claude Stoudemire at Leon High School. I practiced basketball every day for five and a half hours. It was planned. I planned to practice five and a half hours every day. That was a minimum, minimum. On Saturdays, I practiced 12. I practiced 12, okay? And many times, this is what I'm sharing with you now, I want you to keep it real with you. It was by myself, okay? Now I go from the ball to the library. Mm, change the game to the library. That's right. I used to dribble the ball around Tallahassee and didn't even have a ball in my hand. I, they, I, it was word was out, word was out, I was insane. I ran Tennessee Street both sides. From Leon High School, past Florida State, Krispy Kreme, handling the ball that was not in my hand. Shadow dribbling. Oh yeah, they said, oh he, he touched and it may not be by an angel. How committed are you to the game? That's how deep this gets. So when I graduated, I expected to have 285 scholarship offers. And because I was doing that library thing on top of it with Ms. Carl, who lived right across the street from me, right next to Dr. Sybil Marlin, I went to the library and stayed in the library six, eight hours. Did all my homework, came home, had to report my homework to my mom, who was a professor at Florida State, and the family. And uh, when they were consolidating campuses, family in Florida State, like you see all over town, not family in Florida State, FSU family, she was part of that that creating that. See, but when you're responsible and you're committed, things can happen for you. Coach Davis will make sure somebody's here to chaperone. If you want to stay here and play ball, you want to stay here, I had to go to store, Coach, if I couldn't get to the library, my mother would call out here and let Coach Stoddard out know it was time for me to go in the office and do my homework. Not only am I the only basketball player in the history of UCLA to play on a team that won 88 consecutive games, I played on all 88 of those. I had some guys, they played 75 straight, like Bill Walton, Keith Wilkes, who became Jamal Wilkes, Henry Bibby, Mike Bibby's daddy, you know, those guys, all right? They played 75 straight. Some of them played 13 straight. Sidney Wicks, Curtis Rowe, uh, yeah, those guys. Yeah. But I played on all 88 of them. So the family said when they wanted to select one pitcher for Coach Wooden, the day of discovery, when he tells what his experience at UCLA was like with his players. He wanted to select the most coachable player he ever had and the player who played on all 88 straight games who was listed as a member of the varsity. Because I didn't play, I redshirted. I redshirted and I was the best guard on the team. I'm telling you. I mean, believe me, I'm biased now. I'm being totally prejudiced. But I really was the best guard on the team, but yeah, I redshirted. I didn't understand the system. I was 16, just turned 17 years old when I got to UCLA and they were explaining to me then, I figured someone was in the game. They were like, uh, well, your mother and I have discussed uh, the fact that your body needs to develop more physically. You need to get your sociological skills in place. And psychologically, it would be better for you maybe if you took one more year. And I'm like, well, I got a four year scholarship. Coach. What, is that? what exactly does that mean? I'm trying to figure out, help me understand. Well, we're thinking about we might possibly redshirt you. I said, okay, uh, that's why I wanted to go to Big Ten, Coach, because Michigan, at the time, Big Ten wasn't allowing redshirt. You play. You're good enough to play, you play. So I'm like, wow, okay. I said, I don't know, Coach. I don't know about that strategy you and my mother coming up with, because my mother never really played ball, Coach. What I'm saying to you, though, you heard me talk about a couple things. Playing ball, but you love because you're here in this gym, in this locker room, and your academics. See, cause I got that triple A thing down. I got the triple A. You ever heard of triple A insurance? Triple A insurance. Well, it's the triple A insurance of your life. This is triple A insurance plan for your life. The triple A insurance plan for your life is this: attitude, academics, and athletics. Mm. Broke it down. Attitude, academics, and athletics. 
The deal is you have to channel all that energy. Coach Stoudemire taught me how to channel all that energy in the ball. When you play a ball, I know you're upset. Everywhere we go, there were only three or four teams that we ever played that even had a black American athlete on the squad. Check this out, man. This is fire. You talking about a guy with all this attitude and all this fire. And I'm going, they call me nigga, spooky, cool, the whole game. And I'm like, ooh, boy, if I could run up in there, I'd be showing up like Ron Artest. They don't even know. I'm the guy. I'm the guy that needs to be up in there for this. Go stop him out of seat. No, this is how we go. Every time they call you nigga, let's go two points. Every time they call you spook, steal the ball. Every time they call you cool, get that rebound. So see, when you have 33 points, 12 rebounds, check it out now. 10 assists, four steals, four steals, every game, every game, your senior, we're not going to talk about that 18 point, six points you have as a sophomore, I was five, four, five, five in, and dunking the volleyball, but my senior, baby, I was launching from eight to ten feet to the hole, throwing down, kicking the folks in the throat, going to the rim. They, my mother say, and Coach Stoddard, I say, this is how we gonna work with you. We need to do this for you. Either that or you don't play. <laughs> That's right. Either that or you don't play ball. I said, okay. So you don't have to be from the projects to have a project mentality. And you don't have to carry that mentality where you are. I only got 30 seconds. All right, guys, you guys can Coach, my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. They got me on the schedule, guys.